Hollywood hates guns. Well, they like them in shoot 'em up movies. But as soon as it comes to a good civilian using a gun for self defense, Hollywood turns anti gun. She shot herself. Why the gun off? Hollywood constantly portrays people who hate guns. I'm not a huge fan of weapons. Now, do you see why I don't like guns? You don't like guns either. I'm not a big fan of guns. I don't like it. Why do I leave the FBI? Guns, mainly. It's almost as if they're trying to condition people to hate guns. In Hollywood, even Navy SEALs warn against owning guns. I need a gun to protect the kids when you're not around. You'd be dangerous to yourself and to the kids. The wise law enforcement experts constantly urge people not to use them. But in my experience, the problem with carrying a gun is that eventually it will go off. But Hollywood gets this backwards. In real life, police strongly support civilians owning guns and carrying them for self-defense. A recent survey by the National Association of Chiefs of Police polled thousands of sheriffs and chiefs of police. 76% believe that qualified, law-abiding armed citizens help law enforcement reduce violent criminal activity. Detroit's police chief urges people to carry guns. So good Americans who are responsible with concealed weapons can make a difference. He became chief and encouraged civilians to carry guns six years ago. Detroit's murder rate fell since then. I'm excited about our trend downward. Nationwide, rank-and-file cops show even stronger support for private gun ownership than do police chiefs. More than 90% supported civilians carrying guns. No surprise, Hollywood's cops are wrong, and real-life cops are right. Police are informed by what they see on the street every day. They know how important having a gun is to their own safety, and they know that private citizens can help. We've seen our good Samaritans. We've seen them go to the aid to others because they were good Americans with uh, concealed weapons permits. Many Hollywood crime show writers clearly know nothing about guns and crime. The myths they push on people are endless. What else do we know about these guns? Um, this is the machine gun that Davis was firing at us, so-called cop killer. Stop. Since 1934, there are only two known uses ever of a machine gun being used in a murder. Yet Hollywood shows criminals using machine guns to outgun cops all the time. Hollywood also finds endless ways to insult civilians who are using guns. No good's gonna come from you guys running around here with assault rifles. We heard prisoners were on the loose. We got a right to protect our neighborhood. Yeah, that's a job for law enforcement, not a ragtag militia. Hollywood plays to bigoted stereotypes, depicting gun owners as dumb hicks. You got one! He's got a few jits. Hey, get off me. Now they do anything. Officers, please. Hey, let him go. That's not who we're looking for. I kept telling him that. You sure? He looks guilty as hell to me. At least check his papers. Let him go. In real life, citizen volunteers and neighborhood watch programs save lives. A 2008 U.S. Justice Department analysis found that crime fell 16% in areas that started a neighborhood watch program compared to those that did not. Some of Hollywood's bias is comical. In this show, a woman asks a federal agent if he's worried about not having his gun in a gun-free zone when he's facing professional killers. Are you about this no guns thing? Bad guys won't have them either. Bad guys won't have them either? Seriously? Has a bad guy ever seen a no guns allowed sign and turned around? In the show, the killers obey the signs and leave their guns behind. But in real life, gun-free zones only encourage criminals. They serve as a magnet for criminals. Virtually all the mass public shootings in the United States since 1950 have occurred in places where general citizens are banned from having guns. The Virginia Beach shooting this year was another example of this. A woman who worked at the municipal office building talked with her husband the night before the attack about bringing her permitted concealed handgun to work for self-defense. But she decided not to because of a city rule against carrying guns. She and 11 others were killed the next day by a disgruntled co-worker. In another recent case, a doctor carried a gun anyway, despite his hospital's no-gun policy, and he stopped a mass public shooting. As the district attorney put it, if the doctor did not have a firearm, he'd be dead today, and I believe that other people in that facility would also be dead. That real-life situation would make a gripping TV story.
but don't expect to see it. Hollywood bias is everywhere, and it endangers lives by misleading people on guns.